This is going to be a very up close personal review of the Osho Zen Tarot. And I find these cards are really deep. And um, I usually use other cards to do day to day readings for myself and uh, for others. But this one, I almost feel after I do a reading, I don't need to do one for quite a while. It's like very deep. Um, it's a 79 card a deck. Um, I'll show you the cards, but it's very deep and it's going Zen. So it's not so much about the day to day and forecasting and predicting and seeing what's around you and what's the events and surrounding you and things like that. It's really tuning into the inside. It's almost like character deconstruction of your soul. <laughs> so it's like after I do a reading, like last night I did a reading for myself and I'm pretty much done for, I would even say like a couple of months. I don't know. That's how I find these cards. Also, pre-warning, there is an Osho um, card that, you know, he's a controversial controversial figure. I don't know how some people feel about him. You can always disregard that card. It's 79 cards in here. So that is the extra card is of himself, I believe. It's the Osho as the master card. Um, you can use it or you can take it out. But I wouldn't let how you feel about him dissuade you from this because this is um, really based on going Zen, not so much about, um, you know, you could separate the energies and use these cards to go Zen with yourself and not pull in his personal energy. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, again, before I show you the cards too, even though, um, you know, there's major arcana, minor arcana, you're going to find they're completely different than the Rider weight. You just got to throw the Rider weight out the window, even though, you know, it does have suits. It's like, instead of the cups and the wands and everything else, it's water and fire and rainbows and things like that. And you can try and equate it to the Rider weight, but it's best when you work with these, throw it out the window. The card images are completely different. And to go Zen, you kind of have to just drink it in separately and remove the knowledge you have of the Rider weight and just almost look at it as a total Zen tarot and totally separate. That's how I find I get the best readings. People might use it differently, but you know, even though it has correlations, what I'm trying to say is look of it, look at it as and experience it as a totally different deck. Okay. So without the babbling, this is the beautiful, it's a big case that it comes in and you're going to find the inside are not so big. <laughs> so let me show you when you get it out of course you'll have the guidebook and this is everything because like I said you're going to want to throw it all out the window and go buy what is in the book and I'll at the end of this give pull a card and give you an example of what it means to lose yourself in the guidebook with the cards um, it gives you a black and white picture it will go into a description of what you're seeing and then it will give you the whole Zen meaning, delving even deeper. So this is really a deck to just like on a quiet night, lose yourself in this and really drink in what it's saying. And it's gonna tap into your inner soul and you're just gonna feel completely understood by these cards. And it does ring very, very true. Um, so I'll give you an, uh, I'll show you at the end, I'll actually pull a card so you can get the tone and what it means to take a Zen, you know, get Zen with these cards. I'll show you that at the end. Let me show you the cards. The cards are small. They're like a deck, real deck of cards, the size of a deck of cards. So if you can't grasp how big this, it is on the video, believe me, it's a deck of cards. This is the back of the cards and what's so funny is I'm so drawn by cards by how pretty it is on the back so the back of these cards did not draw me in for some reason I was so I get I'm a little bit anal or obsessive compulsive or something but I like really back of cards that are beautiful and to me when I saw this squiggling I was like oh why do they squiggle on the back of the cards like it was throwing me off I I, I didn't really like it and then I was thinking to myself it's even forcing me to go Zen with the back of the card. You know what I mean? Like just to accept it, that's what it is. It is what it is. And not be so disturbed by it. Because I gotta tell you, I was like disturbed when using it. I feel like a five-year-old just wrote on my card. So I thought that way, in and of itself, the experience of not liking the back of the card made me kind of Zen. It is what it is. 
you know, just let it go. And it doesn't disturb me as much. Isn't that bizarre? Okay, so let me show you the cards. They're not gilded. Again, this is the back of the cards so you can get a close up. Okay, so let me show you, and it's completely different. Some of them are pretty and some of them are not, but you could definitely lose yourself in the images. This is like existence and I'll show you, maybe I'll just do a reading with that. Let me give you an example first of what that means. So I'll go right away to what the experience is. So if this is existence, let me go right into it. And in the guidebook, it's hard to find sometimes. Um, in the very beginning, it will have um, you know, a list. So this would be the major arcana. Okay, so page four, and then you have the minor arcana. So you go in the beginning and you look it up and you're gonna have to do that because it's the only way that you're really gonna find the cards. Okay, so for example, existence. Let me give you an experience of going Zen with these cards. I don't wanna run out of video, so I'm gonna talk a little fast. Um, I love this image. This is actually one of the prettiest images that you're gonna see in this deck, I'm telling you right now. Um, so it gives the commentary, and this is the description of the card. This naked fi figure sits on the lotus leaf of perfection, gazing at the beauty of the night sky. She knows that home is not a physical place in the outside world, but an inner quality of relaxation and acceptance. The stars, the rocks, the trees, the flowers, fish, and birds, they're all our brothers and sisters in this dance of life. We human beings tend to forget this as we pursue our own private agendas and believe we must fight to get what we need. But ultimately, our sense of separateness is just an illusion manufactured by the narrow pre preoccupations of the mind. Now is the time to look at whether you are allowing yourself to receive the extraordinary gift of feeling at home wherever you are. If you are, be sure to take time to savor it so it can deepen and remain with you. If on the other hand, you're feeling like the world is out to get you, it's time to take a break. Go outside tonight and look at the stars. And then it really goes into, on the other page, an elaboration. And these are pretty much deep. It says, you are not accidental. Existence needs you. Without you, something will be missing in existence and nobody can replace it. That's what gives you dignity, that the whole existence will miss you. The stars and the sun and the moon and the trees and the birds and the earth, everything in the universe will feel a small place is vacant which cannot be filled by anybody except you. This gives you a tremendous joy, a fulfillment that you are related to existence and existence cares for you. Once you are clean and clear, you can see tremendous love falling on you from all dimensions. I mean, that's beautiful. And usually when I use these cards, I would pull for myself, you know, three to five cards and you'll find it forms a whole sentence of your soul, like what your soul needs and, and to hear and, and deconstructing your soul. I mean, it is really going Zen and it is deep. Um, so let me show you quickly the rest of the cards before my video runs out because I know I have to be under 15 minutes, but this is my favorite card in the deck. <laughs> it will be yours too. And I warn you, some of them are pretty and some of them are not, but whether they're pretty or not, you definitely lose yourself and the images really um, are deep. Okay, so you have this one, existence, and they're numbered. Here we go, projections, compromise, awareness, rightness, See, like here, nine of, this is really, rainbows are pentacles, so this would be nine of pentacles, kind of like my Garden of Eden card, you know, when she's standing in the field with all the pentacles. You kind of have to throw that out the window. This is rightness, and the description of the book is gonna be completely different. It's going zen, so it, it almost doesn't serve to keep trying to equate it to a nine of pentacles. Do you know what I mean? Um, 
to get the maximum out of this deck, I would just throw it out the window, but that's me. So this is ripeness. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, I just dumped all the cards. Sorry about that. Oops. Okay, just hang in with me. <laughs> okay. Inner voice. Maybe you can draw on your right or weight and supplement, you know, put it in, you know, say this is, um, what's it in the priestess? I don't know. I, I throw it out the window. Okay, so inner voice. the burden see so right away it could help you but to me I find it almost stops you from delving as deep as you can separately into these cards is what I'm trying to say aloneness you could tell like hermit but again the meanings are going to be different with this book so and the cards aloneness love the images I mean you can really you get different Zen like messages with this it's you know it's different you'll see when you use it creativity again like the Empress but it, you're gonna find you're gonna drop all that for some reason with this but this one's a beautiful card too trust mind silence past lives, moment to moment, isolation, sharing, adventure, totality, nothing, no, no thingness, harmony, thunderbolt, change, playfulness, the miser, tuning in, turning in, the lovers, the creator, guilt, like that, postponement, comparison, politics, beyond illusion, it's on the cover, healing, we are the world, guidance, Experiencing success, the master, so you could use that or not, clinging to the past, new vision, celebration, maturity, participation, friendliness, innocence, courage, laziness, the dream, transformation. I'm not going to run out of time. The source. Completion, morality, consciousness, abundance, flowering, schizophrenia, the fool, understanding, slowing down, the outsider, going with the flow, ordinariness, fighting, rebirth, breakthrough, possibilities, letting go, Patience, exhaustion, sorrow, control, conditioning, stress, intensity, the rebel, receptivity, I love that card, traveling, integration, and suppression. I'll end it with receptivity. Again, I love these cards. I'm trying to keep it under 15 minutes. These are the back of the cards. Go Zen, Osho Tarot, Osho Zen Tarot. This is what it will look like. Transcendental Game of Zen. And um, 79 cards. So this is the deck. These are the cards. And try them out. They're different from the usual tarot cards. Go in deep and um, get different kinds of messages and um, enjoy. Just wanted to pass it on. Thanks so much. Have a good day and take care. Bye-bye.